So we're at the Houston airport. We're gonna try the United Club for the first time. It was a nice um, experience. We got our breakfast, we got some drinks, we got lunch, because we got there right when they were serving breakfast and at the same time they were about to serve lunch. Thank you again to all my subscribers. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's do this. We are in Pittsburgh, we made it, our first time here. So according to Wikipedia, Pittsburgh has 446 bridges. They call it the Steel City or City of Bridges. It's beautiful. We are gonna be staying in Lawrenceville. It was founded in 1814. It's the largest neighborhood area in Pittsburgh. It has an industrial era aesthetic with many restaurants, coffee shops, boutique stores, bars. You guys are gonna see all of that in this video. We enjoyed staying there. We recommend staying there for sure. you guys the airbnb we stayed at beautiful home uh the owners are actual architects that built it it was amazing this is a bakery you have to get there early because there's a line it's amazing it has 4.5 stars on yelp and it's called la gourmandine bakery on butler street you can also find this place where they have the best kale caesar salad i've ever eaten in my life it's called driftwood oven And y'all are about to see a cemetery that's also a park. You can go have a picnic. You can go for a jog, walk. Very relaxing, very interesting. And it looks like a castle. Now we're in Shadyside. This restaurant's called P and G's Pamela's Diner. It has four stars. It was affordable, delicious food, big portions. I recommend. Shadyside is a residential neighborhood since the 1920s. It got its name from a 19th century railroad station in the area, which was named for its shady lines. 
Guys, we just finished eating breakfast. Now we're visiting the Botanic Gardens here in Pittsburgh. It looks beautiful from what I can see outside. The weather is perfect. It's 80 degrees. Um, and of course, no humidity like Houston. Let me show you guys. It's beautiful, beautiful. I love it here. That's a Carnegie Mellon Public Library. We might go there and show you guys. can come take wedding pictures at this uh, conservatory and botanical gardens you can uh, get a membership and see all the different shows they have they change everything for every season It was a beautiful day and I had to try Rita's Italian ice. It was really good. And then after a long day, we went to eat dinner at this restaurant, which I give a five star review for sure. It has an indoor and outdoor area. It's on Butler Street called uh, Posadis Garden. And it was one of the best Thai foods I have ever had. Actually, it was my first time having Thai food. And I loved it. And now I'm bringing you guys with me to the Carnegie Museum of Natural History. Hope you guys enjoy this experience as much as I did.
So these here are replicas, but I felt like I was either in Italy, in the Louvre, in France. Uh, I have never been, but it felt like it. It was unbelievable. Now we're at Point State Park. You can't go visit Pittsburgh without walking this park. Beautiful, very relaxing. You can take your dog, you can take your coffee, walk around, look at all the bridges. One of those bridges uh, is the one that came out in the movie Jack Reacher with uh, Tom Cruise. So that was pretty cool. And we're gonna actually walk that bridge later on in this video. We're gonna go all the way up there. I'm actually kind of nervous. But... This is a must do at night. Uh, it's called the Duquesne Incline. Amazing. you do the incline and take pictures up there once you go down i recommend walking this bridge it was so cool what a cool experience <laughs> 